Hi there, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. For this one, we have the category that I personally don't like to touch upon so much, uh, but it is very important, especially in today's day and age, because almost everywhere, there's more players trying to be the facilitator or staying around the perimeter as shooting long range jumpers. And these are the best basketball shoes for guards this year. I say that I don't like talking about it too much because I don't really even know what I am position-wise. Just a casual player, I guess. But my criteria for this list are that the shoes need to be supportive enough for shifty players who make a lot of aggressive cuts and turns on the court. Not much added weight to slow you down. And most importantly, they should have excellent traction. If that's close to your playing style or if you're a guard, take a look at this list. And even if you're not a guard by definition, these are also some of the best performers out there that you can get. Let's get started. The first one on this list, or the first shoes that come to mind actually, when I think of shoes for guards, is the Kyrie Low 5. Super lightweight, they feel minimal on feet, and have excellent traction. In terms of cushioning, this shoe is also better than its previous version, the Kyrie Low 4. It's softer and easier to break in. So one thing I should point out now is that Kyrie shoes normally aren't for everybody's foot shape, especially if you have a wider forefoot. The toe box fit can be really tough, from my experience, I still went true to size with the Kyrie Low 5. The Kyrie Infinity, I think you just have to go a half size up. I've been using the XDR rubber pair outdoors and the also is holding up just fine. For a lighter and quicker guard, the Kyrie Low 5 should get the job done effectively for you. Also very breathable materials on the upper, so your feet won't heat up too much. Another shoe that is great for guards is the Jordan Luka 1. Best traction so far this year crazy good grip on the floor and for that reason alone it just has to be on this list. The stability and support for lateral movements are very solid. Your feet will be secure in these while making most types of movements on the court. So if you're a player who changes directions a lot and needs a top-notch traction to get you to a hard stop without slipping, the Luka 1 is arguably the best option. Its cushioning really isn't as good though but it's also definitely not a stiff shoe. So overall I still have them as one of the best performers in 2022. All right, we're gonna speed things up a little bit because if you watched my previous and recent videos, you know that these are my picks for the best three shoes this year. The Nike PG6, New Balance 2-Way V2, and Harden Volume 6. The PG6 is a combination of everything you need, from traction and cushioning to core feel and support. The 2-Way 2 is also a shoe that barely has any weakness in my opinion. They're even lighter than the PG6. So for a shifty guard, I don't see why this wouldn't be a good option. And the Harden Volume 6 has that nice full lens boost setup that gives you a nice little bounce along with good impact protection. The herringbone traction pattern works really well for faster players. They are on the heavier side though, and breathability is a downside, so just keep that in mind. Next up, the Puma TRC Blaze Court is a fantastic option for guards in my opinion. Puma hoop shoes, despite having good performance generally, are usually on the heavier side. But that's not the case with the TRC Blaze Court. At around 380 grams for my size 10.5 pair, they're one of the lightest Puma hoop shoes, and the traction works very, very well indoors. Materials are just meh, but it is a really bouncy shoe with a responsive cushioning setup that can help you attack the rim better as a guard. Obviously, there are a few other shoes that can do pretty much the same for you, like the Converse All-Star BB Shit, for example. So while we're here, I'll also add those to the list. Super low to the ground, and it's excellent for a low gravity and high speed playing style. But one more shoe that I started playing in recently, uh, just about two weeks ago, is the brand new Nike Toon Freak 4. I don't know if my video on that will be out by now you're seeing this, but so far, this shoe has worked really well for me. Traction was good. The wider forefoot was a good thing in my opinion. They are really light, but at the same time, didn't sacrifice any stability. Stay tuned for a video on how these guys perform. So that's it for this video on the best basketball shoes for guards this year. You don't have to be a traditional point guard or fast and shifty player to find these shoes useful because they are also some of the best shoes to hoop in in general. For me, I was actually one of the tallest kids like back in high school up until grade 10. Then I just stopped growing ever since. So I struggled finding my true position because I didn't have the ball handling skills to turn into a guard. Anyways, my point is, some say that you don't have to wear good shoes to be the best player. That is 100% true. 
but also add that you can be a shit player, but also enjoy your time playing in shoes that work best for you and just have fun, you know? That's probably me most of the times. Yeah, so these are the ones that I picked out for guards. Uh, lots of solid releases this year. Let me know your thoughts on any of them down in the comments. Do you agree or disagree with me? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.